Hi, Virgie Virg. Welcome back, guys. I hope you're all doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Virgo placements in their chart. Okay, please be sure to flip and switch the roles and just take what resonates and leave what doesn't fit for your situation. Also, remember that there could be scammers down below in the comment section, people pretending to be me. So if your name is not highlighted in gray, it is not going to point back to your comment. And if there are fake pages reaching out to you on other social media platforms, it is also obviously not me. My social media handles are going to be down below in the description box, okay? So Virgo, let's see what's going on with you. I don't know why I'm hearing Patty Cake. <laughs> Somebody's name could be Patty or Patricia. I'm hearing Patty Cake, Patty Cake, Baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. Is it baby and me or I'm hearing Barney and me. Y'all remember Barney, the purple dinosaur? <laughs> okay, or something like that. What the hell? So some of y'all could be watching cartoons with your baby or your baby loves Barney or they like a uh, patty cake or maybe you're teaching your baby that <laughs> or something like that. Some of y'all could work in a bakery. Okay, you could bake cakes or you could, somebody, I'm hearing somebody's an, an event planner or you make food for, so you could be a chef. You, somebody could be a chef. Somebody could, could bake or something like that. I don't know. But let's see. What's going on here for Virgo? Please return any spell work, spirit, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Okay. What's going on for Virgo? So we have number four, Cancer Energy Mirror. Self-aware, seeing clearly, ego, facing issues, self-assessment, self-improvement, insecure, make comparisons, reflection, obsessed, a narcissistic, vain, self-love and, appreci and self-appreciation. Hmm. Okay, we're going to see if that's a good mirror or not. Or you're mirroring somebody's damn insecurities in there. I don't know. Let's see. We have number four, Scorpio... Energy says cat. Okay, it says apathetic, disinterested, aloof, my way or the highway, bored, unflappable, <laughs> cool cat, unaffected, not my problem, what I want, when I want it, cool and calm, disengaged. Okay, so there's somebody here that you're ignoring or you don't. I'm getting like a, a really cold energy. You could be going cold on somebody or somebody wants something. I feel like you're going cold on somebody, Virgo, and somebody wants something to go their way. They, they want something so badly to go their way, but I feel like you're ignoring it or you don't give a fuck. And you're not being affected like how you used to. And they're like acting out or they're trying to like do the same narcissistic tactics that they were doing before or whatever this is, you're marrying, you're showing them themselves and they don't like it. It's like they're not, instead of them sitting with themselves, they're, they're projecting onto you. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Let's see. Okay, so we have number eight, uh, Capricorn Energy Library, knowledge, learning, history, information, research, books, pastime, archives, hidden documents, search, secrets, looking beneath the surface, author, reading, and writing. Yes, yeah, so you know, some of y'all could be a reader. I mean, well, yeah, you could be a tarot reader, or you could be one of those people that read the audio books, 10, 10 on the clock. You could be one of those people that read the audiobooks. That's cool, actually. <laughs> or you could be a writer or, or a librarian. Some of y'all can have a librarian. What do you call them? Librarian cats? They're really cute. But um, I feel like you got the scoop on somebody. It's like you can see beneath the surface of whoever this is. Okay, let's see. Or you found out something here that you only have information on and somebody's like trying to figure out why they, why you're ignoring them. And I feel like you're not saying it because it's like you're grown as fuck. I get it because it's like you're grown. You know what the fuck you did. Why do I have to tell you, hey, don't do that. Or, hey, why did you do that? What you mean? Like, you should know what to do and what not to do. <laughs> That's how I feel like about a lot of people and the shit that they do. It's just easier for me to just stop talking to your ass. Period. Especially when you did something slick and sly and think you got away with it, bitch. I'm going to show you that you did not. Because now... We just won't be talking. <laughs> that's I don't know if that's the shit. I, it's been working for me for years. 
I don't know if that's the right way to do things or not, but it's been working. I ain't had no karma from it. But um, hey. But anyways, um, so yeah, it's some information that you got that I feel like is turning you off about somebody too. It's like you're disinterested, you're not showing that you care. And they're just like, okay, well, let me do something to figure out to, to figure out how to get you back in my good graces or something. So they're like looking in the mirror. Maybe they're trying to change up how they look or do things a certain way. And they're trying to hide what their motives are, but you see through it or something. Yeah, this is chess, not checkers, period. <laughs> this is chess, not checkers. So you think you're playing me, but you're playing yourself. What else? What else, y'all? Because I don't know, Virgo. Okay, we have number two, Gemini energy rings, contracts, agreements, bonds, strong connections, unions, partner, counterpart, lovers, telepathy, like-minded people, committed partner, engaged, interconnected, and soulmate. Mm -hmm. All right, then we have number two, bottom of the deck, Scorpio, olive branch. So true, surrender, giving in, come to terms, suspend, low, de-escalate, make amends, peace offering. <clears throat> yeah. Taurus energy. So we have Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini, Capricorns, yeah, and Cancer. So there's somebody here you're coming to together with or you're in unison with. Y'all are on the same wavelength. Y'all are synchronized. Y'all are y'all are meant to come together, okay, and be in harmony. Yeah, two of a kind, equality, alliance. So some of y'all are going into a new contract here and somebody else is not okay with it and they're trying to get your attention. They want you back or your person, but their time is up. It looks like, yeah, the world <laughs> is closed. Okay, and they're just like, well, what can I do to get you back? Or how can I get you back? I feel like somebody's just insecure. That's what I'm getting. Somebody's insecure. They don't want to let go. They don't want to go their own goddamn way. And they're obsessed. So let's see though. Let's see, because... That, that's what it's giving. What uh is mirror? And instead of this person learning a lesson and going within to figure out, you know, why am I chasing? Why am I doing this? They're they're continuously doing it. Somebody needs to heal. What's mirror? The six of cups, yeah. <laughs> This is this is somebody's so so something here is coming out. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Something is coming out about someone's childhood or or something. Somebody something from this person's childhood is being triggered. Okay, I feel like somebody is triggered, and I feel like you are the source to their triggering, or only they feel like it's it's about you, 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 or they're so obsessed with you to the point where it's unhealthy. Right is what I'm getting for some of you. Okay, with you and somebody else here. Okay, this person could have been abused as a child, okay? So they could be coming off a bit narcissistic if they, ha if they have not done the healing work. They're going to come off as a narcissist, right? Because they're deflecting. But I feel like what you're doing to heal your path, yeah, the star, what you're doing to heal is looking at this person and, and going within. Like, what attracted me to this damn person? Why did I stay with them so long? What is the problem, right? And I feel like what you're doing is fixing yourself and you fixing yourself is kind of like triggering somebody because they're like, no, no, no. You're supposed to stay here with me. You're, we're supposed to be trauma bonding. We're supposed to be working together because we're in this together or we grew up together, six of cups, or we always gave to each other, but it's toxic. So somebody is like, their, I don't know what their problem is. <laughs> What's mirror with the six of cups? So yeah, the tower. Yeah, something is coming out. This is a sudden realization or a revelation of something here. Or somebody is finally getting something that you're mirroring back to them. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't know, honey. This could be an Aries. What else? Or somebody's like, this is like, this This could be chaos, destruction, a sudden upheaval with the tower. Because I feel like somebody is being triggered. Oh, damn. The Ten of Pentacles? Mm-mm. Okay, yeah, five of wands. So something is falling apart here. Some sort of stability or family dynamic is falling apart. For some of you, this is you breaking generational curses. Okay, there's there's something from your past that influences your behavior now. And I feel like you're tired of living a certain way or doing something a certain way. And now you're trying to change it. And these people from your past or your family, they, they don't like it. They want you to stay stuck because they stuck and they haven't done anything when they're, with their life. They want you to be the same way. So these could be older people, younger people, whoever the fuck, friends, karmics, that karmic exes, whatever. But I feel like you're breaking some curses here. 
for some of you guys, you're definitely very gifted. You have your ancestors that pass you down some gifts or something like that. This could also be inheritance, wealth. It's something that you have passed down that you're trying to get to. And I feel like something needs to fall apart in order for this to come. And it could just be that you're needing to heal. This could be inner conflict here with the five of wands. But I'm, I'm getting, this is you, five of pentacles, five of wands. You're leaving somebody out in the cold and these are these people fighting or whatever the hell they're doing. They're mad because you're getting something. For some of you, there could be something from your past that's influencing your behavior or your person's behavior. Maybe they miss you or they want to be with you or you are a part of their ten of pentacles and they're trying to get to you. But there's like people that they're around that are that has influenced their behavior or whatever. And now they're trying to get rid of them so they can come be with you. Yeah, because it's faded. The will of fortune or whatever the shit is, it's faded to fall apart. So they could be better or you could be better. What's the six of cups? Okay. It's like you're meant to be a mirror in people's lives. So if you've met people and y'all falling out and you know that you ain't did shit to their ass, it's them that's mad or upset because you're you're exposing their issues within themselves but they don't want to see it they want to say oh you 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 did it you did it no bitch you did it <laughs> it's you you're the problem you're 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 the problem right we attracted each other because we both are a problem but at least i can take accountability for mine you're not but you're deflecting so that's what i'm getting somebody's just being a loser yeah the world so something here is closing out the world something is done there's a cycle that's been completed a, a I feel like there's a sense of wholeness. Yeah, the world talks about feeling whole or complete or, or a goal has been achieved. So there's there's like past life shit that you've cleared out and you feel good. You feel at peace with the world, with you. It's like you don't give a fuck about what's going on in the world, really, because it's a lot of bullshit. <laughs> and I feel like you're just at peace with yourself. You could be in your own damn world. And because you are, people are like, well, why, do they, why, why don't they want to be engaged? Or why they don't want to make friends? Or why do they feel like they don't need to be... Um, in this group or why they feel like they don't need to be with other people is because bitch some of y'all ain't gonna lie are low quality hoes i'm gonna just keep it real and i feel like for a lot of you you're going up and it's like you want quality over quantity so it's either grow up and come with me or stay there and be a loser period because i've grown you know what i mean it's just like it's just one or the other i feel like it's very black and white like this cat this <laughs> is very black and white like the cat period one, two, three, four on the timer. Confirmation of what I just said. And it's not mean. It's just very real. It's like once you grow or heal or get to a certain phase, there's a lot of shit that's not going to resonate with you anymore. A lot of shit that's 3D based. All of this shit is not going to, it's not going to feel good. You don't want to be around it. You don't have time for it. you in your own world doing your own shit. And people are low vibrational and they got shit to heal from. And it's levels to this healing shit. So like if you, if you're healed, if you're at a further place in your life and you're healed and you meet somebody that's still doing the same shit they were doing from five years ago, that's still keeping them stuck. It's like, that's not going to work for you. It's just not going to work. Period. You don't want to be around it. Yeah. Because you're then I, confirmation of what I just said the temperance so yeah you're free you've broken free from all the restrictions the rules the whatever that society has placed on the way that you should live or be you're not in, indulging in that and for some of you there was a curse like i said a hex or a curse that you've broken free from so it's like whatever this is right here they can get mad and throw tantrums all they want bitch we're still leaving right virgo <laughs> like i don't know we're leaving deuces period so anywho some of y'all could be traveling moving it's like so much to the world so much more to, to to see and explore it's like you don't have time to be dealing with the same lame hoes that ain't going nowhere what's the tower and then they get mad and say oh you think you're better so what they gonna try to do take it from you it's just like that's loser energy and then they see why you don't want to be around it but instead they want to hide it and say oh it's you no bitch you know why i don't want to be around you it's because look at what you're doing <laughs> that, this is a prime example what's the tower you know yeah, you see what I'm saying? The magician in reverse, trickery, energy, manipulation. Like I said, for some of you, there was some sort of magic. Eight of swords, two of swords. Somebody just trying to blind you and stop you from going towards something because they want to manipulate it or they are a damn narcissist or they're greedy. There could have been some psychic abilities here that you weren't aware of that you had that you're now seeing with the tower is coming out or it's coming out that these hoes have been greedy and they've been selfish. Yeah, three of swords and they've been trying to take from you and all that. That's Virgo, Gemini energy. So it could be another Virgo here that's did this lame shit. What's the magician in reverse?
It's like you weren't you you didn't have the mental strength or the mental capacity to see whatever this is, but now it's happening because you're healing. Six of Cups, and as you heal, you'll become more aware. You'll become more self-aware, and you'll feel more whole and complete with the world. It's like you're you you're way past whatever the fuck this is. Some of y'all are waking up to a lot, waking up to a lot of abilities that you didn't see that you had, and their gifts that's been passed down to you here. Okay, what's the magician in reverse? Yeah, the death card. Something. Didn't I just see the seven of pentacles? Yeah. The death card and the seven of pentacles. Yeah, somebody's like greedy. This seven of pentacles, again, is a payout. It's inheritance. It's wealth. It's things coming to fruition. So somebody here was patiently doing this for years at a time. For some of you, 10 years, 7 years. This could be people in your family. Somebody that you married to, a lame hoe that you married. That's greedy or they whatever the fuck they did. But somebody here has manipulated something or tricked something. Or trick you into believing something using probably magic and some more shit. Whatever they was doing to keep you stuck. And now that shit is over. It's ended. But somebody was well invested into whatever this is they were doing or stealing or taking from you uh, spiritually for some of you. Yeah, it's like whatever this is, it's over. It's over. And they were like investing like a lot of money or you have a lot of money. You have some sort of gifts or whatever the fuck. And I feel like it's being seen now. It's, it's, be, it's being revealed. Either something has came out about somebody trying to take your money or something has come out about somebody doing magic maybe you found shit laying around the house that's what i'm getting i'm visualizing it <laughs> you could have been seeing shit laying around the house you're like huh what is this here what is this doing why is this here or this shit just feel weird or feel off okay someone could have a taurus saturn yeah for some of you somebody was trying to kill you or hurt you or sacrifice you in order to get something in order to get something for themselves either they were doing energy harvesting or they were actually trying to like kill you off to get whatever this is. Some of y'all do come from a healthy, well, yeah, healthy or wealthy background where there's a lot of material wealth here that somebody wanted. And now the shit has came out about their loser ass. Yeah, the judgment and the eight of swords. Somebody could be going to jail. This is trial by jury, honey. Somebody could be going to jail. <laughs> this is imprisonment or this is spiritual jail. One or the other. What's the 10 of pentacles? Yeah, the 10 and the seven, that's 17. That's the star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. But the star talks about spirituality, creativity, being an artist, healing, North Node energy, going towards whatever you're destined to go towards here. Yeah, they were trying to steal that. So what's the Ten of Pentacles? That's crazy. Yeah, Eight of Wands. For some of you, now, now something is coming towards you very quickly or you're going to get news about this, information about this. Okay, some of you guys, if you're waiting for a payout or if you're waiting for money, it's coming in. But for others of you, there's positive movement for For some of you, this has something to do with the connection, okay, that you're meant to get. It's destined to be here. Your, your soulmate, for some of you, it's a twin. Okay, I always get twin flame vibes with the Ten of Pentacles. Twin flame connections are inherited connections. <laughs> that's something that's been passed down to you or you signed it in a past life to work with this person. And whatever this is, is coming. And I got that because the Eight of Wands is a travel for romance. So for some of you, there's somebody you're supposed to get married to, be with, share this, share this life with or build this legacy with. And somebody else was trying to take it. Or they were just, I don't know what they were trying to do. But whatever this gift is, is, is coming in. Yeah, somebody's a thief. Seven of Swords and the Two of Cups. I can't make it up. It's a connection. Two very powerful people. So there's that. But yeah, so there, there's communication coming in. Someone could have a, a Sagittarius Mercury, a Taurus Saturn, yeah. It's like somebody here, the Seven of Pentacles too talks about nurturing or, or a gestation period, a waiting period. It's like somebody took their time with whatever this is. And they did this when you were, for some of you, like I said, I mean, maybe nobody has, well, I ain't gonna say that because they have. Whoever you're connected to in your family or your ex or whoever this bitter asshole is, somebody has known you since maybe you were a child or something like that or somebody, this was already in your DNA, I guess, right? And so this is a karmic 
to you. This is meant for you to learn from them and keep moving, right? They're just sent here for you to keep, for you to learn from it and grow from it and move the fuck on. They were sent here for a higher purpose. It's like something is, has been orchestrated. Just like everybody's life is orchestrated, but for some of you, this is different. This is very unique from any other normal kind of life or relationship or whatever. It's very different. So whatever this is, it's like people, a lot of people wouldn't believe it. And who gives a fuck? It's not for them to believe. Who cares? As long as you believe it, you're going to get it. <laughs> right? Like, I don't know. I got over people believing what I got going on a long time ago. So what's cat? Apathetic, disinterested. Some of y'all could be traveling. You have to travel to get whatever this is or... What's, what's apathetic is interested yeah the knight of swords so this is a sudden departure yeah it's like you don't care you're not looking back at somebody's ass you don't give a fuck the knight of swords is like definitely is facing the world so it's traveling here you could definitely be moving traveling but you're racing to close the cycle out and i feel like it's being closed quick <laughs> okay um you, you could be racing to go visit somebody knight of swords the world six of cups somebody here misses you and whoever this is that misses you, they there's a wholeness or or a sense of satisfactory or happiness when y'all two come together. And it's because y'all y'all have past lives. Y'all y'all are supposed to do something together here. So the Knight of Swords, yeah, this is like heroic energy being bold or um <clears throat> this could be somebody wanting to be honest with you, communicate with you, or this is somebody else that's mad. They mad. Somebody's like mad, they charging at you because it's like my way or the highway, but they're not getting their raggedy ass way. And what's the cat with the knight of swords? It's like somebody, yeah, knight of wands. What else? Yeah, and the eight of pentacles, yeah, in reverse. Something here failed. Virgo energy again. For some of you, this is a this is another Virgo. Okay, that's doing this weird shit, but the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, this talks about like um, a ruining of your reputation, possibly they try to do that or they could now be in debt because you're not going to keep taking care of them or you're not, they're not connected to you no more. So whatever gifts they were trying to harvest or siphon, they can't, they don't have access to it because you're leaving. But the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it does um, indicate something that's very repetitive or boring. Okay, excuse me. This could also talk about something that's hitting the dead end. For some of you guys, you, you've been working a dead end job or you haven't been seeing a relationship go nowhere and I feel like you're leaving. You're, you're not, somebody here keeps trying to come at you the same kind of way too. This is why you're not dealing with this person. When they try to come at you, what, in the Knight of Wands energy, charming, sexy, warm, whatever, or sexual or whatever the fuck this is, they get hot tempered and then they get mad and they charge at you. And it's just like, that's not going to work, bitch. Find something else to do or be a different way. <laughs> because this way it's not working so something is just somebody i don't know they just childish whoever this is they do the same shit over and over again and keep yeah five of cups and they always end up in the five of cups or they don't they're not getting their way it's my way or the highway but instead they're not get they're getting the exact opposite they're not getting anything but the five of cups i feel like this is anger they're upset or whatever this is. For some of y'all, I saw the Queen of Pentacles with the devil. This is definitely a dark witch here. Yeah, now I'm saying the high priestess. Okay, this is this is somebody's crazy ass baby mama or baby daddy. Or this is your mother or your father. Yeah, the devil with the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Somebody's not getting their way. Whatever this is that they're doing, they could be paying somebody to do spell work or magic. Or they're just like that, but they hide it. Whoever this is. What's the Knight of Swords? And I feel like they come towards you with witty, like, communication. They try to be funny or, you know, or just, like, be smart. But it's like they're still a loser. What's the what's the Knight of Swords? Yeah, child. Virgo. You can have Virgo. Well, damn, you are Virgo. But I'm saying. Somebody here is another Virgo. So we have Hermit with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so I'm getting this is you. Becoming more spiritually enlightened, spiritually in tune with your higher self. I feel like there's a lot of um, soul recognition here. I didn't mean to say that. But yeah, you're finding, your, you're finding yourself again internally. But you could be definitely, you and somebody's soul mesh well together. You, you belong to each other. But I'm definitely getting, um, there's some sort of breakthrough that's happening because you're taking action. I feel like the Knight of Souls is somebody that's impatient. They ain't got time for the bullshit, right? I feel like right here you're impatient in the right way you're not going to wait for nobody to change their ways or you're not going to wait for nobody to stop doing this lame shit that they're doing you're just not 
So there's a breakthrough that's happening. And I feel like it's, it's because you're doing a lot of like searching or, or looking into yourself and you're seeing things that you need to change because of how this whole is acting. It's like, thanks for the, thanks for being a catalyst. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So it's like whoever this is, right? There's going to be some sort of conversation or communication coming in from somebody. They're going to want to talk. Ace of Swords. There's somebody that's that's rushing towards you to talk. I feel like this is a domino effect, right? This is a ripple effect. If you're dealing with a twin, this person is learning from you to get out of their ego. And if your twin is dealing with a karmic or if you have deal, dealt with a karmic, you're teaching the karmic the same thing, right? So I feel like there's two people coming towards you, a karmic and a twin for some of you or your soulmate or whoever the fuck you subscribe to, honey. They both come in. And I feel like you do different things for both people or you're seeing a difference here how versus how your twin act and versus how the karmic acts. They act like a damn loser that's mad or projecting because they don't want to own up to their shit. And your twin is like, okay, well, you know, we don't talk. That's fine. You know, I still love you, but I'm going to go my way because I'm not going to settle, right? That's just what it is, right? And when you're ready to talk, I'm here if you want to talk. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting two different sides of the spectrum here and somebody is just showing you that they're a loser they ain't shit that you want to be bothered with i don't give a fuck if they baby daddy baby mama mother brother sister cousin whatever they ain't worth your time they ain't worth your time and the first thing people like to do is oh they family honey listen family they be the first ones to do something i don't i don't know i just don't care because a lot of family they're just brought here like in the past, like they could have been a friend or a different person or something like that but they're brought to you as a family member because maybe y'all need to be that close to so you can learn from your family what to do and what not to do, right? So some family members, they need to get left behind, period. Just because they family don't mean that they need to be taken with you to a different phase in your life or as you're growing. Like some people just don't grow. They don't change. And that could be family. I don't, I don't got time. I will leave your ass so fast. <laughs> I just, I really don't, you know. You're going to show me that you're not going to work with me or work to change something or take accountability and have a real motherfucking conversation and get to the root of the problem you find a solution then we ain't got shit to talk about because you're wasting my time time is valuable i don't got time for that but the night of one so yeah i feel like there's definitely a breakthrough in communication coming in between you and somebody and i feel like they're doing it quite quietly because they don't feel like they don't feel like being bothered like somebody is seeking solitude with the hermit they don't want to be bothered by whatever the shit is right here or whatever somebody's trying to energetically do to someone it's just not working. What's the Nine of Wands? Or somebody's like, they had this plan or they brainstormed something. They went within, they brainstormed or they found information out. And now it's like they're headed in the opposite direction of whatever this magician in reverse is and all that. Like they don't want to be bothered here. What's the Nine of Wands? Yeah, the Temperance. Sagittarius, Nine of Wands is Sagittarius too. So somebody could be a strong Sag. What's the temperance with the Knight of Wands? So I feel like as you're traveling, as you're moving, as you're taking risk right now, Virgo or your person, I feel like somebody's protected. Okay, divine intervention has stepped in to stop this person from coming towards you or to stop you from even considering their offer because they're a loser. What's the Knight of Wands with the temperance? I feel like somebody feels free though. They feel confident. They feel they feel balanced, okay? Or somebody has healed and now they're breaking free. It's like they're, they're over it. What's the temperance with the Knight of Wands? This could also be somebody rushing in for soulmate reconciliation. Yeah, we have three knights here. Knight of Pentacles. So somebody is growing here. Virgo again. A lot of Virgo. Either your person has Virgo in their chart, like you, or you got Virgo in your chart, highly aspected in other places in your chart. I mean, I have a Virgo rising. Some of y'all might be watching for your rising sign. I strongly recommend watching for your rising in, in all your charts really but yeah so something has been taking a while here and it's because somebody here needed to heal or build their confidence up build their um stability up in a way or something but the knight of pentacles is somebody that's that has great work ethic they're a hard worker um they're balanced i feel like they they, they like to they want to build they want to bring something to the table to build with Okay, for some of you, yeah, it's like somebody, spirit is protecting you from a hot-tempered, like, person that's trying to come at you with some bullshit. And I just feel like you told this person what it is, and now you're leaving, and they're just like, oh, well, I'm going to make you like me again. It's like, bitch, I would never like you after you just sat up here and did dark magic, or you just sat up here and tried to swindle me out of something, or whatever the fuck this is, I'm never going to fuck with you again. Now they five of swords. 
now they're upset. It's like, bitch, get over it. What's what's the um? I feel like somebody's trying to approach you in all different kind of ways, and it's just like you don't want to deal with it. Somebody's trying to tie you down. They're not the ones on is free spirited. They don't like to be tied down, restricted, none of that. There's no amount of charm or sexiness or sweeping you off your feet that somebody can do anymore. It's just done. Whatever amount of spell work or whatever the fuck this is, it's just not working. You're not interested. You're bored with this person because they do the same shit. It's like pick pick a no a new way to like manipulate people. Because <laughs> this this way is it sucks for me anyway. Like, move the fuck on. What's the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? But I feel like something is coming into balance here. Yeah, Three of Wands with the Page of... Yeah, planning and shit. Page of Swords, Three of Wands, waiting to see if something's going to happen. Or like I said, if the same behavior is going to work, it's not. Something is repetitive, it's boring. For some of you, somebody here could be trying to ruin your reputation. They're just doing, doing all type of things to get you to give them some type of attention. And that's that insecure, narcissistic bullshit is what I'm saying. When you could be sitting back trying to practice self-love and self-appreciation and looking at your fucking problems because you do have one, bitch, if you're watching. <laughs> like I'm saying, it's one here. You know what I mean? Instead of doing that, you're just like trying to mess with somebody. It's childish. Somebody's lame. Could be an Aries or Virgo. I mean, uh, yeah, Virgo. Could be another Virgo, I'm telling you. Or Aries or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that's involved or whatever but you know i feel like this person could be very mean too they mean they greedy they're some type of like scam artist and then they sit back and wait or they they're like oh i'm so confident something is going to work i'm so so for sure i can see that this is going to work bitch and it's not they're waiting to see if it is yeah three of wands talks about feeling confident or good about you moving forward about making a decision that you're making or whatever. Let's see. What's what's this three of wands? What is somebody doing right here? Somebody's trying to stop you from being focused on something. Eight of Pentacles in reverse is like having a, a you not being able to focus, or you doing like a mediocre job, or whatever, like uh, something. But let's see. What's the three of wands? page of pentacles yeah some sort of plan or strategy or this is a plan that you have or but i feel like this is the plan somebody else has here they could be using children to kind of like figure out how they can fuck with you or whatever the fuck this is for some of you guys you're a tarot reader you could see into the future three of wands with the page of pentacles you or this person is doing some divination spying and it's not working whatever they're trying to do or if they're watching to row here or like a lot or whatever, it's just not working. Somebody is trying to see where you're going or see where you're traveling or see what you're doing to keep you from being able to focus on where you're trying to go. Eight of Pentacles in reverse or to see how they can scam you or to see how I, something like that. I don't know what the fuck their issue is. What's the page of swords? Some of y'all have... um a new job coming in or somebody's trying to track your money they're trying to see how you're making your money or whatever the fuck <sighs> people are fucking crazy yeah five of pentacles six of wands what's this page of swords yeah three of cups so i feel like what they're trying to do is see who you're communicating with who you're talking to who you're thinking about it's like they're trying to see who's in your energy so that way they can figure out how to like stop you from getting it or what they can do bitch it's nothing you can do are you stupid or dumb or slow or all three. <laughs> like, which one? I, I'm being so for real. Yeah, they sitting up here looking stupid. Four of cups still being ignored by you because you're working on your money. You're not, you're not, you don't care. You really don't care about this person. And they're continuously being the fucking devil, the five of wands, and the seven of swords. It's just like, give it up, bitch. Give it up. There's no amount of sex or ace of wands, nine of cups, two of pentacles, seven of wands. There's no amount of anything that's going to make somebody want to come back to you. So, there's a need to kind of like fall back and stop pushing for something that's not for you. If it's not for you and spirit is taking it away from you. And if it's, whether it's for somebody else or not, it's not your business. Just worry about you. You feel what I'm saying? Like somebody just doesn't know how to worry about themselves. There could be a lot of gossiping and shit going on here. Page of Swords, Three of Cups, like, oh, what can I say about this person to ruin them or stop them from getting money or stop them from going towards my ex or my baby daddy, bitch. It don't matter who is who and what is what. It's not yours. <laughs> you did your part you played your role move the fuck on 
I don't know. I'm just, I'm just so like, yeah, somebody's delusional. Eight of Swords, Two of Wands. They're sitting here anticipating something, waiting to see. You know, this is a waiting game for this bitch. They're sitting and waiting. They're scared or they feel like they have their hands tied and they do. They're like, oh, okay, I can try to do something else then. Since I can't do this, let me, let me do it this way. Let me like, no, bitch, let you go heal. <laughs> That's what you need to do. That's what you need to be saying. Well, if nothing is working out for me, let me go sit down somewhere. That, that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Yeah, three of pentacles, two of swords. How can I block somebody? How can I cause them nervousness, frustration, anxiety to stop them from making the decisions that they need to make to move forward? How can I get me and my raggedy ass clown ass friends to join me so that way I can figure out what to do? To bring somebody back or to, to help me in a way and be selfish, be a selfish stalking ass loser. That's what I'm saying. Somebody is ridiculous. For some of you, somebody here is just like, they're just, they know where you're going already. Some of you, some of you guys are going to move to a different state, get a new job, period. And you're going to, because I mean, ain't none of this shit a secret. What is, ain't nothing a big secret. This bitch know what you're doing. Are they going to try, try to do it? Stop it. So all you need to do is be like, okay, well, I'm not going to stop what I'm doing, but I'm definitely going to stop you, your bitch ass in your tracks because you're not going to get in my way. Because it ain't no secret about where you're going. That's not the secret. The secret is this bitch doing shit behind your back. <laughs> try to stop you that's the fucking secret so you need to be put on game because this bitch ain't got no game and if they did in the past you grown and it's not working so there's that but somebody already knows that you're going to reconcile you're going to meet new people or you're going to have fun or you're going to go do something that they're not going to ever be able to do with you again <laughs> like they, they know that so this is you that's you moving forward you're traveling six of swords being guided being supported by the universe about your decisions. That's how you know that it's the right decision. It's just like you don't give a fuck. And you're going to be with somebody that's sexy as fuck here. For some of you, this Queen of Wands is who you're going towards. Or this is you as the Queen of Wands. I don't know. But you have new love coming in. What's the what's the library? Somebody is tripping. Queen of Pentacles. What's the library? Four of Swords in Reverse. The Empress and the Hangman. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Taurus, Libra. Someone could have a Libra, Jupiter. Someone could be on the Sag, Capricorn cusp. Okay. I don't, I don't know. Sometimes, I guess I have a certain way of reading. I don't like my cards to be. If that came out first, that's what I'm going to put. Four of Swords. Because I feel like the way that they come out always tells a story, too. <laughs> I don't know. That's just the Virgo baby in me. I'm very like that. But, yeah. So... Okay, yeah. So the Queen of Pentacles. So this this could be a healer. Some of you guys is a divine feminine. You're definitely a healer here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Somebody's like really trying to curse y'all, hex y'all. They are. It's something that you have knowledge on that somebody doesn't have access to. I was getting ready to say the Akashic Records here. You have deep knowledge, and you have um a higher calling over your life, obviously. But you definitely have a lot of protection around you. Okay. Somebody's like just trying to dig into what you got going on here. Yeah, the Hierophant, I'm telling you. Um, but the Four of Swords in reverse. So I'm getting you're sitting up here. Some of y'all could work from home or you could be some sort of healer, like I said, or psychic. Or you have a very successful growing business here. You could be a white witch if you classify as that. But you definitely have a, some sort of like spiritual background here. You're very spiritual. You have power, a lot of it. Okay, and I feel like it's getting stronger with the four swords in reverse. This is like having an awakening, awakening to your strength or having that mental um, clarity again where you were not mentally strong. You're now uh, you're now coming out of isolation. Yeah, the four swords in reverse. That's like finding mental strength again, coming out of isolation, you know, in your head. So where you were feeling overwhelmed or anxiety or whatever the fuck this is, you're not. And you're going through an awakening here. And I feel like you're glowing up into the divine feminine, the empress, or you've been one. But I'm saying it's levels to growth, right? So you could be the divine feminine at this point in your journey. I mean, you know, and you have this, this energy that nobody else has. Or you have this glow about you that's hard for other people to get because <laughs> they're not trying to get it. Or you just have a lot of gifts. I feel like it's all of it. You have a lot of gifts here. That you're realizing. I feel like you're realizing this about yourself. Okay. You can have people around you like trying to sacrifice you or I don't know. 
they they need you though because you're the source <laughs> you're the source of whatever the fuck this is it's you okay so this masculine or whoever this is that's dealt with their past or whoever you are they need you because you are the sacrifice or something like that you're the one with all the power the the authority the they gotta they gotta get through you so what they're trying to do they're trying to hack you or trying to get to you here because you're the one yeah five of wands i'm telling you five of wands yeah seven of cups you you have something that these people want and it's not it's not yours bitch what's the queen of pentacles like what the hierophant yeah taurus energy or capricorn yeah, so I feel like I feel like yeah, you have a sacred contract here with the divine. It's like you work for the divine. You have a special thing that you do between you and source. And somebody's just trying to steal it or see it to see how they can bamboozle you or get in the way or there's a sacred contract here. Yeah, it says ring. So there's there could be a marriage. Okay. People know that you and this person are meant to be together and that's exactly what's going to happen, honey. I don't know. Like I don't, like somebody just won't let it let it be. They just got to keep picking with it when it's yours anyway i don't give a fuck who had who before if, it's, if, it's, if you had it before then guess where somebody else is going after to somewhere else i guess that's that's normal or somebody's slow i feel like somebody's a little, a little bit slow they're delusional they just feel like everything they they can it's theirs or they're supposed to keep it or it's like most people in your life you're not even supposed to like stay there for a lifetime most relationships they always end because they're meant to teach you a lesson it's up to you if you don't learn a lesson then i guess your ass gonna keep repeating the same fucked up ass relationships you know like I, yeah four of pentacles somebody is just like trying to hold on to something that's just not theirs it's just not theirs i was getting ready to pick these up in reverse yeah flipped out in reverse again in my life it's just not yours it's not yours and something is just for show ten of cups in reverse it's just for show i feel like somebody's very dramatic very neglectful very obsessive they're bad news they're a bad person they're bad news and it's like once you own that you're a bad motherfucker you're horrible then you can do something to fix it right but you have to own that shit yes i've done some bad shit yes god please forgive me and actually change your behavior but you're not doing it so then you wonder why you're not getting what you want or you're not going anywhere in life it's because you're sitting up here raggedy four of cups <laughs> like you sit up here you're not doing nothing different i just feel like people are a little they really lack common sense and i feel sad <laughs> i feel sad about that shit i'm not even playing it's just like common sense is really not so common or it is but people are ignoring it or they don't want to see that yeah the emperor with the four wands i'm telling you there we have the empress so whatever this is y'all know what it is it's yours so anywho Oh, child, I don't know. For some of you guys, you're studying something or I don't know. You're just a spiritual guru. You're somebody of authority. You have a high ranking here in the spiritual realm for sure. So whoever try to come up against you, they definitely gonna have to get through your ancestors, your spirit guides, God himself. And they're going to have to like get through, you know, them to get to you. And it's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough road for your loser ass. I'm telling you. So somebody better watch it. Okay. What's the what's the four swords in reverse? Yeah, the chariot, period. You're moving forward quite happily. <laughs> like, you're not... Yeah, the chariot. This talks about finding that mental strength again. Glowing up here. Not feeling nervous or anxious or overwhelmed or whatever the fuck. I feel like you're coming from out of isolation. So if somebody had you sleep or whatever the fuck is, is you're coming out. For some of you, this is your person that has helped you awaken. All right, because they can see through this shit right here. Somebody did. But the chariot is definitely a victory. It's, a, it's success. It's winning okay <clears throat> it's balance so your your feminine and your masculine within you whether you're a man or woman is balanced for sure and you're moving forward definitely getting you know resilience <laughs> dedication willpower it's like if somebody try to make you feel less confident here that that's never happening again what's the empress the strength period did not say if somebody tried to make you feel less confident again that's not happening period you've overcame everything that you needed to overcome a lot of these hoes around you are weak as fuck they ain't got shit going on internal or external to themselves there's nothing going on here so the fact that they i feel like for the fact that they could even feel like they could get you like where you were at when you were younger or whatever this is it's like that's not that's not going to happen ever again i see right through you you see right through them it's just like no you can have leo in your chart 
But the strength card talks about your inner strength. And I feel like you take pride in who you are. You take pride in being the empress or the emperor. You take pride in everything that you got going on here because you're confident, you're self-assured, you're self-aware. <laughs> Something that a lot of people are not. And you see things very clear. You know where you're headed. The Wheel of Fortune. You know what your purpose is. A lot of people do not. And that's something for them to figure out. And when they don't figure it out, they try to take somebody else's. That's that bullshit that I'm saying. <laughs> that needs to... It just needs to stop. What's the what's the, the hangman here? The Queen of Cups. Yeah, definitely somebody's a psychic. What's the hangman? <clears throat> yeah, five of swords. You see what I'm saying? Eight of swords, the damn seven of cups. Yeah, somebody's just trying to... They, they trying to keep you stuck. They want you to stay stuck here. Someone could have an Aquarius, Venus, Scorpio, Venus, and uh, Gemini, Jupiter. Yeah, no. <laughs> Whew. I just sneeze. Or oh, I did. <sighs> bless me. Thank you. <laughs> Whoever said bless me to me. Thank you so much. So anyways, um, yeah, whatever this mental prison was or whatever this is that somebody was doing to you, whether it be bullying, abuse, victimizing you making you feel like you have your hands tied in the situation this illusions this confusion or whatever this hallucinating shit is right here that you had going on it's not you're, you're out of it or you're realizing that that's what it was with the hangman you're realizing that you were a fucking sacrifice here somebody is like energy harvested and siphoning your shit and yeah it's a no it's like once you awaken, you can't go back. And once you awaken, everything that needs to get swept out of the way, bitch, they getting swept out. So don't be embarrassed if it's you, bitch. Ew, whoever this is I'm speaking to, don't be embarrassed if it's you. Just understand it like, okay, I don't belong here. Let me go. That's easy to do. I don't know what people's problem is. <laughs> I really don't. I'll do that shit in a minute. If I don't belong somewhere, you best believe I'm leaving. Yeah, see see what I'm saying? The Ten of Swords, the Seven of Wands is behind that. The Ace of Wands and the Devil. Somebody is, was using maybe sex magic or they were doing something to harvest someone's creativity, their gifts, something about someone's sacral chakra, maybe a little bit of their solar plexus here was blocked for a long time. This is some type of like cult or whatever the fuck this shit is, honey. This is a mess, but what's this? Rings... The moon. Yeah, I feel like I'm hearing something about a private relationship. Yeah, keep your shit private. Don't say shit about nothing. What's rings here with the moon? Yep, two of cups. Yeah, a nice, quiet, successful connection. That's exactly how you should want it, especially with all this warfare you got for whatever, whoever connection this is. You got a lot of people. So just be quiet. You ain't got to say shit. Just act like you ain't even, you know, with this person. That's fun. <laughs> like I don't know that's fun to me like people not knowing my business like I would be happy about that as long as I know and whoever this is I feel like they are going to be very loyal to you so you don't have to worry about somebody cheating on you or doing whatever the fuck this is because the connection is just so strong it's meant to be so when two people are meant to be together there is no looking outside I mean you have free will but whatever this is is too sacred and it probably took forever to get here so I mean why would y'all even do that yeah yeah because some people are trying to hex it the lovers the seven of wands the, the ten of swords and the devil and it's blocked or it's protected <laughs> it's protected yeah but some people people are like trying to hex the connection or cause an ending or whatever this is what else for rings with the two of cups and the moon yeah nine of wands didn't i say it was hard to get here it was something has been an ongoing battle but b between the both of you lessons have been learned here and your intuition and yeah the high priestess with the the queen of cups you know what's going on here now so there's like here this is like you fighting back protecting this and guarding it with all your heart <laughs> like i feel like somebody has been tired of dealing with all of this damn spiritual warfare and it's going to continue but now that you're you've awoken or awakened i mean i feel like you don't feel it or you don't give a fuck about it it's like it's not bothering you I feel like somebody asked, somebody else's ass is stuck. Whoever this is, eight of swords, seven of cups, five of swords, and the hierophant. I mean the the high uh the hangman. It's like somebody else is stuck here in this stupid shit. They're just in your energy because they you're the target. So, and they've been ignored by somebody that wants that that wants you. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Like, what's the moon? What's the moon? Yep, the emperor. I cannot make it up. Yeah, four wands. Yep, nine of principles, the fool. This person is free of this shit, whatever this is, and they're in their emperor energy. Period. 
So <laughs> this is your person. I feel like what this is, I don't feel like they're hiding anything. I feel like between you and between you two, you both know what the hell going on. So with you both knowing that, there's really too much that doesn't need to be explained or said. It's just just do it and keep moving, right? It's like it's not no I don't know, but I'm getting um this person is being silent. There's a lot of vagueness here. Vagueness meaning someone knows what this person is doing, but not to the fullest, not to the fullest extent, right? <laughs> or like something is just not too clear. All right, I feel like what this person is also doing is, is also that like they're pushing through insecurities. But I feel like mainly this is them being quiet. I don't feel fear. I don't feel none of that. I feel confidence, but being quiet about it. <laughs> like, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like both of y'all sitting up here in the emperor energy. So I feel like y'all got the common sense. Y'all are very smart. You know? So what's the two of cups? They're, they're, they're keeping quiet about what they're doing. Just period. And that's how it's supposed to be for protection. They're protecting you in this connection. What's the two of cups? <laughs> yeah, the devil and the goddamn ace of, ace of wands. Child, please. For some of you, this is this karmic energy. For some of you, yeah. I'm getting, you know. <clears throat> for some of you, okay, I'm, I'm getting a lot, right? When you and this person come together, okay, because this emperor, he needs to talk to you or she or whoever the fuck it is. They could be hiding something, right? It's like you have a clear indication of what's going on, but they need to explain something. So what they're going to need to do if they want this connection back is speak up about what happened here. Okay, this devil and this ace of wands, don't let too much sex get in the way because there is love here, but y'all need to have a conversation. King of Swords queen of swords and the two of pentacles and the judgment in order for something to come together there needs to be a clear conversation an honest conversation because i feel like you have questions and they got the answers but they need to speak up they need to be authentic so that way something can be in balance and they can give you your own free will to make your own decisions on if you want to resurrect this or not right that's only fair twin flame or not whether y'all got some shit that's understood between each other or not that's not the point it's just leading with integrity okay that's what i'm getting so don't let sex you know, y'all coming together, you so excited, they so excited, don't don't let that get in the way. You like, okay, where you been? <laughs> That's what you need to be asking. Where you been? What you been doing? Tell me the truth, blah, blah, blah. That's what I'm getting, right? So, okay, there's that. But I'm getting like I'm getting that karmic energy again where somebody is painting illusions here about whatever this contract was or is. Okay, I feel like somebody is like quite sexually attracted to you. They're in love with you. I feel like they they Mm -hmm. they want to give you the wand <laughs> that's that's all i'm gonna say but i feel like there could be fear here too there could be fear insecurities whatever you know but i feel like they're still the emperor yeah page of wands a star i mean as long as you're working through it who cares right everybody's scared of something you know what i mean so let me see something what's the devil i feel like the sex between you two and the love between you two is very sacred. So the fact that somebody has been trying to siphon energy through this person's genitals or yours, they trying to get whatever this is and make somebody love them or that's sex magic is what I'm getting. I, I don't, yeah, the 10 of wands, five of wands. You see what I'm saying? Just for them to turn around and fight again, that's siphoning your energy. It's like they, they drain you completely through sex and then they turn around and find an argument or find a fight to, 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 to start. It's like somebody's just a loser. They're a loser. They they just do too much. What's the devil? <clears throat> yeah, the queen of swords. Okay. So whoever this devil is, is the queen of swords. What's the ace of wands? So this is somebody that's a divorcee. Somebody asked, yeah, it is going through a divorce. They're not the wife or the husband anymore, bitch. It's over. Let it go. <laughs> now, I'm saying that like I mean it. I don't give a fuck if somebody feel like it's mean or not. I meant what I said because of what you're doing this is unnecessary if you just went on about your business and especially if you got kids with this man or they got kids whatever however it's going it's like bitch wouldn't you want to sit down and talk like grown men or women and have conversations why do you want to be sitting up here doing this shit you're a loser <laughs> you're a loser so yeah i'm gonna talk big shit about you i don't give a fuck what's the what's the the ace of wands because that shit is lame as hell to me don't do shit that you don't want done to your ass What's the ace of wands? 
Yeah, Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like what the fuck? <clears throat> the three. Yeah, whatever this contract is, is over. Three of Pentacles, the Justice, and the Ten of Swords is over. It's over, man. And I feel like somebody is learning the value of their sexual energy. Because if they was giving this bitch anything, they were definitely use, using it to come up. They were manifesting off that shit. A home, a car, whatever the fuck they wanted. They were getting it. And it's owed to you. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Four of Wands, a star. Somebody that's on their shit that already got shit and they don't need nothing. That's who needs it. That's who wants it, right? That's who is owed it. You know what I mean? That's who earned it. Not this these hoes that want to sit up here and feel like they're entitled or they're the boss of somebody or whatever the fuck. It's like, girl, get the fuck out of here. Or boy, or whoever the fuck you are. What's, um... So, yeah, the Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, there's... Some of y'all are sexually frustrated, okay? There needs to be a talk about this devil energy. Because the Ten of Wands talks about, um... It's in reverse. So there's going to be some fun or some happiness here. I feel like some of y'all are needing some sexual energy because you, you're you tense, right? Everything is so fucking serious. And I feel like there's a part, but that's the part you need to get through, though. Something is serious. Y'all need to have a serious conversation before y'all have sex or whatever the fuck y'all got going on, <laughs> right? Because, you know, This ten of wands in reverse is offloading the bullshit. It's delegating tasks to somebody. I feel like there could be more fun and happiness here when somebody gets rid of this energy. That's what this is. When somebody lets go of something, whatever they felt, wherever they felt like they were taken for granted, this could be emotional baggage. This could be whatever the fuck. With it taking care of this whole extra responsibilities, there could be some playfulness coming back into the connection but there just needs to be a releasing i feel like that's what's happening here letting go of the dead weight which is this bitch and whatever else they were holding on to <laughs> like what's the queen of swords the queen of wands and the page of cups we have the page of, i mean the queen of pentacles the empress the queen of wands queen of swords we missing queen of cups Somebody, for some of you, for some of you, both of y'all got people that are obsessed with you. <laughs> for some of y'all, they did the same thing to y'all. So if you're a woman, you had a karmic baby daddy, baby mama, whoever, they were doing the same thing to you that happened to this masculine. So that's why I feel like there's an understanding here. Okay, between y'all two, because it's the same shit, right? And this is a sacred bond. You and this person are only supposed to like. I really feel like y'all only supposed to be having sex with each other, because y'all y'all are too powerful. You have manifesting energy, and people like these hoes that's doing magic and warlocks and dark witches. That's how they sacrifice. So that's that's what I'm saying. Like, <sighs> yeah, I, you know. There could be multiple people here too. I just feel like that that shit over there is lame. Whatever this shit is. But um There's some good news coming in. There's some sort of like communication or an apology or I feel like you're going to feel free enough to ask to ask your questions and I feel like you're going to do it with confidence here or you're very discerning. You already know what's going on. Okay. Ooh. My ear itch. I think my allergies are, are fucking up. I really do. Yeah, somebody here is fighting over money. They're nervous because they ain't getting no fucking money. Or they ain't getting no more shit from this masculine. This could be the mother of someone's child. Yeah, for some of you guys, you could be turning up pregnant or somebody is pregnant. It's this mother figure. The queen of swords with the queen of wands and the page of cups. Somebody is pregnant or there's news about someone being pregnant. And for some of you, like, yeah, I've been getting that in the energy. This person is not the father of this child. Of this child. And they had this person giving them shit or doing whatever the fuck for them and this fucking child. And that shit is just toxic. That's some that's some shit that needs to be let go of, right? And it's sad because the innocent children are involved. But it's just like, bitch, you did that shit. You're going to have to answer to your fucking kids when they get of age to ask you, mom, why are you being a loser? <laughs> mom, why are you acting like you ain't got no goddamn sense at your big ass age? You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm getting. Somebody, somebody here. What's this queen of wands? Yeah, ton of swords. Yeah, this is the bitch right here. I'm telling you. Something is over with them and now they're being ignored. Or it could be an Aries or a Libra or Cancer Pisces, Scorpio or Gemini. Whatever the hell they are. They're a mess. And I'm sick of them coming up in my reading. What's this ten of wands in reverse? 
You guys will be saying 10, 10. Bitch, it's done. What's the 10 of wands in reverse? Yeah, the Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. There's your there's your counterpart. There they come. They come in because they're coming to give you what the fuck you're owed. They're coming to give you your just due, what spirit wants to happen between you two. They have the money, they have the bag, and they're not giving it to this bitch no more. So they're sitting up here mad and pregnant. For some of you, that's what they are. They pregnant. They're mad and fucking pregnant. Period. And that's just the real of it. The real deal. The real spill. <laughs> like, that's the truth. They're sitting up here mad. Because they try to, like, keep somebody stuck to them and keep them paying shit that they don't need to be paying for. It's like, no, bitch. I know I belong somewhere else. It's not here. I don't give a fuck if we got five kids together. You're getting left. <laughs> Quick. Quick, fast, and in a goddamn hurry. Especially if one of them ain't mine. You got me fucked up. I'm not going to be sitting here taking care of you and nobody else. But I feel like whoever this is has spill work put on them. So they felt like they were obligated. Or they felt like, oh, they're going to hurt me if I walk away. Like, ain't nobody scared of you hoes. The only thing you have that's making you strong is magic. Once somebody wakes up to that spell or wakes up, you're weak. You look weak. And you are weak. So, there's that. I don't even know why hoes try it, man. They they try it. They really do. What else? Let's get a card here for Virgo. So, we have Gypsy. Ooh. Blame my Gypsy soul. It says, be your own hero. Hero, number 15, period. Hey, yeah, number 15 is the devil, ain't it? They have the devil here. Yeah. Let's see. So it says, you are encouraged to say yes to new opportunities and adventures, ideas, and connections, especially the ones that fill your heart with a sense of excitement, perhaps just before your mind begins to dwell on doubts and concerns, trying to talk you out of something before you even give it a chance, period. You can handle the unfamiliar better than most. Once you get your bearings, you'll find a way to thrive, to enjoy what you discover and experience. Let the yearning of your soul to... Let the yearning of your soul to explore the new and exciting inspire you. The unfamiliar and the unknown hold great blessings for you. Open yourself up to new horizons. So it says for your spiritual guidance, there is wanderlust in your soul that that heart quest for new worlds and amazing experiences. Yeah, and amazing experiences. You are supposed to feel this way. You have a gypsy soul that will always seek out something new and different. This is just how your life is meant to be, a divine adventure. And there is an adventure that is meant just for you. Places to see, people to meet, experiences to have, period. We ain't, we ain't got time for hoes like this holding you up. Like, you got shit to do, people to meet, a, a person to, to sex on and be happy with. It's like, you got shit to do. Nobody got time for the stupid shit that this hoe is doing because they ain't got no life or they fucking ruined theirs by doing black magic to everybody else's bitch. Then stay there. Stay there. That's where you belong. That's not where I'm going to belong and that's not where you're keeping me. Period. Somebody got the game fucked up. Child. But it says you are meant to go on a journey inside of yourself and out in the world. You are meant to explore a world bigger than the one you currently know. It is going to happen. Okay. Period. Even the book said it is going to happen. So if it's going to happen, maybe the book can convince you hoes that it's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. So let it go. You can't stop it. Nobody else can stop it. But God, if God wants to stop it. But it looks like God does not. So, but it says, trust in divine timing. Be open to what life has in store for you. Maybe you are a little afraid and wonder if you are brave enough. Quick answer, you are brave enough. And then some. Maybe you worry that you have missed your chance, but you cannot miss your destiny, period. Okay? It is right here waiting for you. And your gypsy soul is going to grow and fulfill even more, even more of the purpose for which you were born. Okay, period. So your sacred ritual says, find a place where you can stand comfortably. Say aloud, through unconditional love, I give the universe permission to guide me on a divine adventure. I trust the gypsy in my heart, which urges me to explore the new and unfamiliar and to make the entire world my home. I am curious and open, and I trust that I will be looked after as I take my soul journey. Then open your arms wide as if you are embracing your future, the adventures that are meant for you, and all the beautiful blessings that life will bring to you. For now, you are open, ready, and willing to receive. Gently scoop up all those good things and accept them into your heart, period. Scoop them up, accept them into your heart. Okay, that's what you need to be doing. And this hoe, <clears throat> you need to do what you've been doing. Ignore them and keep it moving. 
Let's get a card for you, Bergy Berg. Let's see. 11, 11 on the clock. My app says, I am confident in my own power and abilities, period. And that's something that you're awakening to. It could be your masculine that is, but it could be you too. Because just like they grow, you grow, especially if you're twins. So let's get a gateway of light activation card. So it says Earth Star Activation, Anchoring, Grounded Action, Isis Energy. Okay. Bottom of the deck, it says Higher Heart Activation, Dropping Shields, Divine Love, and Your Heart is Healed, period. Both of y'all hearts are healed, so guess what? There's a divine union coming in. Some of y'all are getting married. There's a marriage here. There's definitely a marriage. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Empress, the Higher Fam. I'm surprised the High Priestess ain't come out, but yeah. They're ten of pentacles. <laughs> Somebody been trying to hex this shit. They like, uh, uh, I can't let them go. Well, bitch, it looks like today is your lucky fucking day. It's time to let it go. <laughs> let it go. Move the fuck on, cause I'm sick of seeing y'all hoes in my readings. And hopefully y'all sick of watching me, cause y'all, I know y'all watch me, cause y'all come on my channel heavy. And it's just like, girl, get the fuck. <laughs> so, hopefully you're getting some information about things that you need to change. Not even to be me. I'm not being me. I'm being me. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if I'm being mean. I know I'm not being mean. Even if y'all say, oh, y'all being, you being mean, I want to know why. <laughs> why I'm being mean? Because I feel like I'm not, I just don't got time for the shit. The bullshit and the mean shit that people do. This is mean. Trying to hex somebody. That's some bullshit. Yeah, I'm going to talk shit about you. I don't like that. Fuck you and fuck this hex and move on. So if I mean, oh, well, bitch, <laughs> cry me a river. But I want to know if I mean or not, collective. <laughs> I want to know. Anyways, let's see. The Earth Star Chakra, found around 6 to 12 inches, 15 to 30 centimeters below our feet, is the energetic portal that connects us directly with the soul wisdom of Mother Earth. It is our gateway to the underworld of the Earth, a space of sacred magic and mystery where we will find a lot of the tools, gifts, and skills the ancients used to connect with the Earth and her wisdom. Yeah, see, Page of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Somebody, they do a shitty job. For some of you... This person does what you do, but they suck. They really suck. If they have a gift of tarot or or whatever this is, I feel like they, they're too busy trying to ruin what you got to, to be better. It's like, I don't know. They could do the same thing you do, but it's like, bitch, ain't we supposed to be working together? Why are you mad? Because what? Your ex is the one that's for me and you call yourself doing something that I'm doing or that we all, it doesn't matter who's doing it. But you're mad. It's like, girl, get to, get your ass on somewhere, honey bun. <laughs> get your ass up out of here, loser. But it says, the Egyptian goddess Isis appears on this card as, a, as our spiritual guide. She is a high priestess, yeah, of the stars who knows the importance of connecting with the underworld to stay grounded, aware, and manifest all that we need to grow. Follow in her footsteps by connecting to your earth star. Anchor, anchor down and go digging within to find any parts of your magic, wisdom, and experiences you have pushed down, both in this incarnation and in previous life, lifetimes. Yeah, these tools could be helpful in the next phase of your journey. Yeah, for a lot of you guys, you are powerful healers. You do something. You a psychic, a tarot reader. I don't know. But you have the, the, the you're a librarian for the Akashic Records here. <laughs> it's like you, I don't know. But some of y'all could be studying or you need to study or... And put something out there. I don't know, man. But you have gifts. And I feel like, so I don't know if somebody's faking their gifts. Or, I mean, you can't fake a gift. But, I mean, you can act like you know what you're doing. But it's going to come out that you don't. I feel like this is what this bitch is doing. This is why this shit is not working. And, but it's all about your intentions, too, though. So, they do have gifts. They're abusing it. That's what I'm saying. If they're doing dark shit to keep somebody stuck or to hurt somebody else, then, bitch, it looks like your shit. You can already lose your gifts. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But anywho. Um, so to connect, it says, imagine deep roots roots from the soils of your feet. I mean, the soles of your feet penetrating the earth and anchoring around a giant copper crystal star. Visualize streams of consciousness moving up into your feet. Receive them, then listen deeply. Okay, so that's your connecting exercise. So it says your message. When you draw this card, know your earth star has been activated and the wisdom you once ignored is finally being acknowledged. The rejected parts of yourself have now been rediscovered. There is an opportunity for you to, dis to rediscover magic too, but stay firmly rooted in all of your endeavors. Let the earth hold and sustain you. Don't rush ahead. 
In fact, if you've been wondering if it's time to move forward, know that it isn't. Stay put for the time being. Information, I mean, important information is about to be revealed. So wait and stand strong. Okay, somebody about to be called out on their shit or whatever this is. <laughs> you about to get something, I don't know. Or the information from your masculine. I don't know, but um, this is a time of integration and rest rather than pushing forward. Great wisdom lies within you. Dive deep and find it. And trust in yourself. You have more strength than you realize. Okay, period. So that's what you need to be doing right now, Virgo. So very cool reading. I hope that this resonated for you. Hopefully you got some clarity and answers. Let me know in the comments though if I mean. I want to know. I want to know if I mean. <clears throat> I'm for real. 10, 10 on the clock. Okay. I guess that's confirmation that I'm not. <laughs> but for real. But I love you guys. I will talk to you later. Hopefully this reading resonated. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings. And yeah. Bye. Mwah.